Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, The Learning Path. This is Dr. B. Meena, Head Department of Commerce, Vice Principal, Ship One from Petition College of Arts and Science. In this video, I'm going to discuss the methods and techniques used in costing. Before I'm going to discuss all the methods and techniques, all are requested to click the I button on the top of the video to watch my previous videos on cost accounting. Let's start our discussion. First, I will discuss the methods of costing. The methods of costing are all job costing, contract costing, batch costing, process costing, operation costing, operating costing, unit or award output costing, multiple costing, activity based costing. Let me discuss in detail. Uh, the first method I mentioned over here, it is job costing. What do you mean by job costing? It is applicable in industries where the goods are made against individual orders from customers. Uh, each of the jobs involves different operations. Uh, basic object of this costing is to ascertain the cost of the job separately and any profit or loss thereon to find out that is job costing. So it's all based on the individual orders from the customers. It is called job costing. The second method of costing I mentioned over here, contract costing. Almost everyone knew about what is contract costing. It is applied in concerns uh, involved in construction work like uh, laying of uh, roads, bridges, and buildings, etc. For each of the contract, a separate account is opened and the total cost incurred is identified with it. The contracts may take a long time for completion. It is also known as terminal costing. The third method I mentioned here it is batch costing. It is applied where orders for identical products are placed in convenience lots of batches. That is called it as batch costing. And next, we'll have a discussion about the process costing. This method of uh, cost ascertainment is used where the input is processed through several distinct process to be converted into a finished product the process are carried out in a continuous sequence uh, where the raw materials is introduced in the first process and the finished product of each process becomes the raw material for the subsequent process until the last process where from finished product is transferred to finished stock account in process costing a separate account is maintained for each process. We have an oil refining process, a pin making process. We can take it as an example to explain the process costing. And next, we'll discuss about the operating costing. What do you mean by operating costing? What is this method? It means the method is applicable to only the service industries where no product is produced, but some services is rendered. Example. We can take the example as transportation costing, uh, lodging, houses, cinema theaters, hospitals. These are all the best examples to explain the operating costing. Uh, next, operation costing. Operation costing is different from operating costing. What is the difference with that? This method is applicable where there is a mass production and several processes are involved with the different operations to be carried out to complete the process of production. It is similar to process costing, but cost details are maintained for every minute of operation and costs are more accurate. That is the speciality of the operation costing than process costing. The next one is unit or output costing. This method is applicable where output is uniform in all respects and production is continuous. Under this method, cost per unit is ascertained by dividing the cost by number of units produced. That is unit or output costing. Next one is multiple costing. This is a system where two or more methods of costing like job costing, unit costing, and operating costing are applied to find the cost of production. It is the application 
of combination of two or more uh, methods to ascertain the cost of the work done it is applied in industries where uh, or different parts are produced separately and assembled into a final product that is the speciality uh, of the multiple costing now finally uh, the last method i mentioned over here is what is the act uh, that is activity based costing abc is on accounting methodology that assigns cost to activities rather than products and services costs are initially assigned to activities based on the resources then the costs are absorbed uh, by products and services based on the use of activities that is called as activity based costing so these are the methods of ascertaining the cost let me check out what are the techniques or the types of costing so the techniques are all i mentioned there are four techniques available historical costing standard costing marginal costing and uniform costing uh, let me check one by one the techniques or the types of costing uh, what is historical costing means ascertaining costs uh, after they are actually incurred refers to historical costing so actually incurred cost is considered as the cost that is if you are going to rely on those details means that technique is called as historical costing so again i am telling uh, we can say it is um, uh, it is also known as a traditional costing because or uh, ascertaining costs after they are actually incurred only we are considering so it is called as historical costing or traditional costing the next one is standard costing uh, in this technique we used to put a estimation or the standards or the target to be fixed well in advance and the standards are going to be compared with the actual and any variances any deviations arises means we are going to analyze what is the reason for that why this variation why this deviation whether it is favorable or unfavorable to the company so it will ensure this standard costing ensures the cost uh, under our control as well as improve the overall performance of the company that is one of the technique usually followed by many companies to ensure the control over the cost in order to improve the performance of the company this is one of the technique and third technique i can say very important for the management to take a decisions that is marginal costing under marginal costing we are going to classify the cost into fixed cost and variable cost variable cost or the uh, product cost and fixed cost are treated as a period cost already i told the meaning of fixed cost and variable cost in the previous videos please kindly check the uh, previous videos to know the meaning of fixed cost as well as variable cost and this uh, technique is very helpful in manager decision making uh, next one is the last one technique i mentioned here it is uniform costing it is not uh, a different type of costing but it is a policy of different industrial units to follow a specific type of costing uniformly in all the units to facilitate the comparison and assess uh, assess the uh, comparative performance of each firm to highlight any uh, weak spots remedial uh, actions can be taken by the company on the basis of such assessment by the managements of the firms concerned the results in overall improvement in performance throughout the industry so by making use of this technique a uh, firm can over control over the cost and they can compare the performance of the company within the company or between the company and uh, we can have so many methods it's based on the nature and uh, uh, business of the company we can adapt any method to ascertain the cost <clears throat> thank you for watching my video uh, uh, subscribe my channel to click the bell button uh, stay home stay safe